Now we better start talking a bit about the economy and Budget Week too. And energy costs should play get plenty of attention, of course, in Budget Week as Labor's struggling with electricity price supplies and costs. And we still await more details, of course, on the Coalition's nuclear energy plans. And the Australian Nuclear Association's held a Navigating Nuclear Conference in Sydney today. President of Women in Nuclear, Jasmine Diab, told me what it's all about. Today we're hosting a one-day workshop called Navigating Nuclear, which was really centred around removing the politics from the nuclear discussion. So we have uh, nuclear professionals from the US, from Finland, here in Australia, all sharing their knowledge and expertise on how nuclear works in an energy system. And so we've spent the morning thus far talking through uh, what what nuclear energy is, whether it's safe, uh, how it works, and then how it will supplement an Australian grid in our current uh, decarbonisation targets. We've got about 60 people here, uh, which come from all facets of the Australian community, and we've really had a great engaging chat about nuclear. There must be a sense that Australia's attitude to nuclear energy is changing. Of course, we've always had the, the research and, and health reactor at Lucas Heights. But uh, even if you put aside the political debate about our energy needs, of course, going to AUKUS and nuclear-powered submarines dramatically changes the game here in Australia into the future. Yeah, it definitely does. And I say that Australia's nuclear literacy is quite low, but the AUKUS decision has allowed us to talk about nuclear. And so it's been really great here having people engaged in asking some of the technical questions and understanding what is peaceful nuclear technology and how does it benefit us today and how can it benefit us in the future and what those opportunities are. OK, so we've got an energy crisis in Australia. There's no escaping that. Uh, the transitions to re transition to renewables is going terribly, of course, because we, we've got a, a shortage of energy at times and also our electricity is much more expensive than it's ever been. And, and so governments are trying to deal with this. The federal government's going to be handing out more money in the federal budget this week to sort of compensate people for the higher power prices they're having to deal with. So everyone knows uh, the push is on to decarbonise. Now, nuclear does that but can nuclear energy do that in a cost effective way can it actually keep our energy prices lower or get them lower than they have been while also reducing those emissions so the economics of nuclear are often the issue that people have and i'll be honest with you the upfront capital costs of nuclear are high but the operating costs long term and the cost of fuel are so low that you reap the benefits of a nuclear system um, over the lifetime of its power supply. And there are examples, a great example recently out of Finland, whose uh, power plant program went over time, over budget, but they're now actually getting the benefits economically from operating that power plant and the cost of energy does come down. It's just we want to save money right now, right here, right now. Nuclear is a long-term game and it's about how do we do this over 50, 60, 70 years, not over five years. Well, that's the big uh, th th that's the big challenge, isn't it? Politicians only think in sort of two or three year terms, and uh, investors maybe uh, you know ten years, fifteen years. But th this is a decision where you, if you build plants, they will last seventy five to eighty years without having to be replaced. In that period, renewable kit has to be replaced two or three times. Yeah, that's right. And that's what a lot of this discussion today has been centred around. It is what is the long-term plan with nuclear? How have countries that currently have nuclear power programs benefited from that? And so we can see both the carbon emission reduction, but as, long, as well the economic benefits of long-term nuclear investment uh, and not short-term, short-sighted investments in energy systems. All right, good stuff. Uh, glad to hear the discussion is ongoing. Thanks so much for joining us, Jasmine. Thank you so much.